All right, welcome back to some more Half-Life 2. Let's uh, continue onward. We're about to get to Whitewood Forest. I think that's what it's called. Could be mistaken on that. Oops, oops. I think I need to ramp off this. Let's do it. Ready, set, boost. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's happy about that? Most girls would be screaming and getting all pissed off and being all pissed. Like, don't go that fast. That's dangerous. Oh. This is the last uh, stash we need to get. Looks like it's behind these rocks. Maybe. Yep. Up. Oh, there it is. Maybe I can shoot it. Nope. Maybe a rocket? There we go. <laughs> Alright, got it. Achievement unlocked. Um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to climb up there and then maybe cut the cable, but uh, exploding the boxes and getting the loot that way works, so... Whatever. Save some time, maybe. Uh, are we stuck? Okay. Zoom! Into the light, and into another loading screen. Okay, so I think we are about to reach Whitewood Forest, or whatever it's called. What was that noise? Oh, we have to take a left. Oops. I didn't see that opening. What is that? It's a weird sound. Over there. I see an antenna. Huh, I think that's White Forest. Well, we're close enough to make it the rest of the way. Wait, what did I think she said we're close enough to make the rest of the way on foot. I don't want to do the rest of the way on foot, but I guess we have to. Whoa. That must have been the crash we heard. White four sentries are doing their job. Oh, nice. Whoa. Strider. Over here, boy. Wait, that sounds like <laughs> dog. <laughs> Ouch. Dog versus Strider. Took a few screenshots of that. Oh crap. Oh no. Dog. 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 Are you alright? Wake up, dog. Please. Oh. Oh, he's up. You're alright. You have me worried there. Everything working alright? Good. You alright down there? We're fine. Dog okay. Better now. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All right. Thanks. White Forest. Okay. Let's go. Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we'll challenge dog to a race. Ah, oh, a race with dog. Get in. Would you mind? 
you can lift that? Holy crap. He should not be that strong. To lift that thing? Are you kidding me? Way to go, boy. Okay, dog. Race you to the base. <laughs> Step on it, Gordon. A racing dog? <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Whoa. I think he's behind me. Yeah, he's right behind me. Oh no. Losing control. He's still right behind me. I can hear him. This is it. I win. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> I beat him. Yo, let him through. Thanks. We had a feeling you were close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest. We made it. Safe at last. It's not really a dog, he's a gorilla. <laughs> like, the way he walks. Like, that looks like a gorilla. If you had, like, a fursuit on, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Hello. So we made it to the laboratory. Loading, loading, loading. You can like tell when it's about to load. <laughs> Our mutual friend. Okay, so I think there's only two more levels. You made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. Combine's been trying to hit in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in silo one access unit, right through here. Shall we? What does that say? Hippiant? Dog? I don't know. Right, let's go find the father and the scientist. Uh oh. Now we're under attack, of course. Dr. Magnuson. So, you ever used an AR-2? AR-2? No. Now, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of time. Here's the father. Gordon. Hello. Man, you made it! Dad! Alex! I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! <laughs> Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the side. No, we should take a break this and we should going. do our part for humanity. <laughs> when you and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? The super portal. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for it. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're going to I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back.
mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, all right, all right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... I know, I know. Oh, never mind him. Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes, of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next in the parade of constant interruption? Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? <sighs> all those alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Yeah, Gordon. You do everything. We'll just sit here and we'll, uh, we'll look at our fancy rocket. Am I supposed this to be in here? Freeman. Oh. Freeman! The glass doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll uh. open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary side. We're launching a nuke? <laughs> That's what it looks like. We're launching some sort of satellite. I don't really understand why. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go down. This looks so cool. Alright. And... Gotta open this. Wait a minute, what? Further unauthorized use of the emergency override will be dealt with Summarily, Dr. M. In case of emergency break glass. Okay, there we go. What is in there? There we go. Freeman. The Magnuson has instructed me to admit you secondary silo. The secondary silo can be reached through here. Alright. Why is it dark? <laughs> Where are the lights? Loading, loading, loading.
Um, what am I supposed to do? Wait, am I trapped in here? Uh... Oh wait, maybe I still have to use my, uh... Gravity gun, maybe? No? Uh-oh! I am confused. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, where are we supposed to go? Whoa! Whoa! Ouch! Okay, I think I'm supposed to help kill those guys. Let's go this way, and then pop out the back. I want to deal with that man pack before it screws me up. You can shoot me from under here? I cannot believe it can shoot me through the grating. Or through the grating, yeah. Ah! Alright, I think there's just one more. Maybe. I don't see any more. Okay, that was kind of crazy. Probably more somewhere. Don't really know where I'm going. I guess this way, yep. Taking this with me, just in case. Yep. Ooh, the music started playing. There. Let's go ahead and blow down the next turret. That turret's down. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, here we go. Alright, cool. Ah! Oh, 
Oh crap. Okay, I guess we have to go through here. Um, is there any crates? We can destroy this crate maybe. Get some health. There we go. Oh, we're, we're supposed to jump over here anyway. Alright, I guess we're going underwater. So many enemies up there. Alright, let's go up. Oh wait, this is just where we came from. Oops, wrong way. Uh, yeah, my bad. Ah! There we go. Did not see that ladder. I'm glad I got all these uh, crossbow darts or arrows. Otherwise, this part would have been kind of challenging. All right. Okay, through here. What's next? Yeah, I've been hearing you, man. Seal the launch doors. I got it. I'm just kind of busy here. Ah! The turret is annoying. Okay, I guess I need to go through here. I think these are the launch doors controls. Yep, it's ceiling. Someone's coming down. Oops. Oops. Did not mean to do that. As long as they don't come inside, I can just wait here. I don't think they're just gonna jump in. Oh, those are my allies. <laughs> Alright, we finished. And I am pleased to announce the secondary silo has been sealed. But, back to work. Alright, we finished. Gordon, thank goodness you're okay. Phew. Glad that's over. We couldn't get in until you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Regrettably true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. The Freeman must follow. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. All right, so now to uncover the mystery of what's on the the data chip, the USB drive. 
attachment might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work, if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short, we may have been spotted. Never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. Aperture. What? Aperture science. The Borealis? <laughs> it's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished, with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did the Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But it's a combine catcher. He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. No, no. I am more than able to handle it. You can stay here. <laughs> you just get captured and you complain and blah blah blah. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. And you always send me in alone anyway, so you should just stay here with your father. Black Mesa. What is Black Mesa? Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, would you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. He's gonna tell me to go without her. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. Oh, that was Half-Life 1, I think. Who I'm talking about. I didn't play Half-Life 1. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. Gmail. When he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you're finished, if that's more convenient. Well, Freeman, 
I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What you say? Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. All right, so I'm just going to end this episode here. That seems like a good point to end. And then I think the next level may be the last level of the game. I can I can look real quick just to make sure. Um, okay, let's save the game, and then let's go back. Wait. Uh, can we go back to the main menu? Uh, I don't think we can go back to the main menu, but uh, yeah, I think th this next mission is the last mission of the game. So we have one or two more uh, videos to make here, a little episodes, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for sticking with me, and have a nice day.